let's take a look at creating a sub gigahertz remote for the Flipper Zero. And to do that, we'll also copy uh, a sub gigahertz signal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this sub gigahertz signal. So I'll go to sub gigahertz and then I'm going to analyze the frequency of this. There we go, I have the frequency. And as soon as it comes up on the list, I will select it. Then I'm going to tag the frequency again. And this time, save it. Boom. Save it. And we'll just call this just like that. Let's call it Z. Oh, looks like I already have that in there. So that's okay. Then we'll use the one that I already have. But that's how you save it anyway. Perfect. So now let's create this sub gigahertz remote. To do that, I'm going to go to my apps, then to sub gigahertz, and then scroll all the way down to remote. Now it'll ask what remote do you want to open? Well, I want to create a new remote. So to do that, I'm just going to go out. Hit the back button. I'm going to map a new file, so new map file, and we'll just name it this. Perfect. So we named it. Now my up button, well, let's edit that. We'll edit the label to say one. Let's save that. We'll edit the file. We'll use that Z file we created. And now I scroll down to go to my down button. I'm going to edit that file. We'll name it number two. And then what file am I going to put in there? Well, I can put this. Just a saved sub that I had. Now let's go to the left button. We'll name that number three. file will use, what is this one right here? So three set, let's do the right, we'll edit that, and we'll call it number four. We'll save that, what file should we use? We'll use a different file there, different sub. We'll scroll down to the OK button, and then now five. Save that, choose a file for it, perfect, and that's it. So now we're going to save this, we want to make sure we save it, and save, and now it's saved, right? Make sure you do that whole little saving process you just saw there. And now I have it saved, so I can now go to it, there it is and use all these functions. All of these safe subs. Oops. There it is. All of my little safe, safe subs that I made there. You can name them whatever you want. And this is great for creating a remote out in the field uh, for multiple uh, devices that you're gonna need to interact with and create it very quickly and be able to use it and it's very stable. So this is how to create a sub gigahertz remote in the field with a Flipper Zero.